Hi, it's me, Gabe, over here from Advanced Test Equipment Corp. And today we're going to be looking at our HFA family of harmonic and flicker analyzers. The first is going to be a single phase 16 amp device, a three phase 36 amp, and a three phase 75 amp per phase device. One of the nice features about this HFA series, it has built-in flicker impedance networks and they're USB controlled, so it's a very modern feature. It's very easy to do reports. Another nice feature is you can control third-party power supplies using the software. So with that, let's dive right in. First, we're gonna be looking at the rear panels of both the single phase 16 amp analyzer and the three phase up to 36 amp analyzer. Each of them is going to be powered by a single phase receptacle. And these are the input blocks where we're going to have the programmable power supply deliver power to the EUT. So you can wire them directly on here. And you can also plug in your software from this rear panel USB connection. So now we're going to look at the front panel of our 16 amp single phase analyzer and our three phase 36 amp unit. Each room is going to have a power switch, which will have a power light indicating it's on. For the current test, the impedance bypass will be on, and for your flicker measurement, the flicker light will be on. Here's your USB connection for the provided computer to run the software. The single phase analyzer will have a 16 amp receptacle, as seen here and our three phase 36 amp one will have a larger plug and supplied receptacle that you could wire it on yourself. So next we're going to look at the rear panel of the three phase 75 amp analyzer. First things first is we're going to pop the rear panel off and as you see here the rear panel has a few interlocks that will not enable use with the rear panel taken off so you'll have to put that on before you start testing. Uh, key things we're going to look at down here is this is the 480 volts coming from our building mains that is actually powering on the analyzer. But on the right, you're going to see a terminal block with A, B, C, and neutral. So that's actually the power coming from our programmable power supply going to the EUT. For this demonstration, we have a three phase circuit connected but since we're only gonna do a single phase 120 volt test, we're only gonna energize line A and neutral. And on the left, you're gonna have the same 480 volt bus that you could use to power on accessories, or you could power on the EUT from this 480 volt. But today I'm not gonna be using that voltage since I'm using 120 volts. So now let's look at the front panel of the analyzer. First thing I want to mention is the emergency stop switch up top, then the main circuit breaker, the on off switch. Over here, this light will come on once the analyzer is powered on. And for the current harmonics test, the impedance bypass light will be on. And when you're doing a flicker measurement, this flicker icon will be on. This is the USB port that's going to connect to the supplied laptop that has the software installed. And here is the three phase up to 75 amp receptacle and plug, which you could wire your device under test to, as well as a single phase 16 amp plug if you're just doing single phase testing. Now let's actually move to the software and do a measurement of a single phase device. So now that we have the input and output wiring configured for our EUT, we'll start the HFA software. This is what the icon looks like. Once we're in the software, the first thing you want to make sure you have configured is the interface control. Right now we're going to leave it on manual control since we have an external power supply controlling the system. But um, another thing we want to look at is if it's a single phase test or a three phase test. Um, this 75 amp system can do both, uh, but for our demo today, we're only gonna use a single phase measurement. Another thing, uh, you can change the impedance selection. We're gonna use the Z reference and we're gonna keep the flicker region to European. Next, I'm gonna go to test conditions and 
in this screen, you can select between doing the harmonics measurements or the flicker measurements. So right now I'll leave it on harmonics and I have a choice between doing the single phase or the three phase tests or whether using table four or table five criteria on the three phase applications. So for today, I'll just use the single phase one. And instead of uh, doing the 33 minute minimum, I'll just leave the test time for one minute just for the sake of this demo. Make sure you have the voltage and frequency set up correctly. So right now my fan that I'm testing is 120 volts at 60 Hertz. I could also name the equipment and the customer of the test that will get populated on the test report. So now that I'm all connected, I'm going to hit start. And as you can see here, the software will start doing the measurement. And a minute from now, I should get some test results. Now that the harmonics test is almost finished, a test completed comes up and green means pass. So from here, I can actually go to the report generation icon and create the report. So this report has been generated. And after that's been created, I can hit view report. And then I'm going to open up the report that was just created right now. And as you can see here, we got a pass. And these are the specifications on the actual measurement with some nice screenshots of the harmonic spectrum, the voltage and current waveforms, the two to nine kilohertz current harmonic spectrum, and then tables with more values. Now that we've finished the harmonic test, I'm going to go back to the test conditions and select flicker. So once you're in the flicker mode, you can select what sort of parameters you're testing. And when I'm ready to rock and roll, I can press start here. And I'll just fast forward to a minute from now when the test is complete. So now that our flicker test is wrapping up, looks like we also passed. And just like the current test for the harmonics, we're going to switch over to the report generation and create a report for our flicker test. Then I'm going to go view report. And I'm going to find it here. So we have the pass criteria and we have different characteristics of your flicker measurement down below. And this concludes a demo of our harmonic and flicker system. For more questions or pricing, please visit our website at www.atecorp.com or give us a call at 800-404-2832.